just now, <laughs> excuse me, hit the record button. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka The Prosperous Heart from www.prosperousheart.com. And I'm so grateful that you're here today because if you're watching this video, then you've probably run into issues like what I'm about to share with you right now. So have you ever maybe booked a cruise and you know you were so excited because it was your first vacation in a long time and you, you knew people who were going to be on that cruise and it was going to be awesome and then a couple days later you remember and didn't, and realized that it was not yet on your calendar that you had something else that you had also booked for the same time period has that ever happened to happen, anybody no just me well those are instances that I hate to ever have to deal with. And it's rare as long as I stick with a plan and actually utilize my calendars. Now, a lot of times people get, I don't know, bogged down by the, all the different tech things and all the different possibilities, but I'm gonna show you a very simple way that you can integrate your Google Calendar with your Facebook events. And I'm not talking about all of your events because <laughs> with as many friends as I know that I have here on Facebook, then that's gonna be a lot of birthdays showing up in my calendar, right? And you don't necessarily want that all in one calendar. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you how to, how to, in three clicks, save a specific Facebook calendar invite. All right, so let me go ahead and get started and uh, switch screens here. Boom. All right, so you have an event that you are super psyched about, whether it is learning how to do edible gardening, or maybe it's a big event for your company, or maybe it's a vacation that you're planning with your best buds. Whatever the case may be, if you're looking to actually put this on your Google Calendar, there are three simple steps. Obviously, it will probably four. Obviously, you come to your event. You would not click share because this is sharing the event with people. So like inviting friends via your post on Facebook or whether you're sharing in Messenger, right? Or inviting friends directly like specific people you want to attend. This is not going to put this on your calendar. What is going to put this on your calendar is by clicking those triple buttons right there, right? And I'll scroll down a little bit so you can see the other options here. Now, save puts them into your save pieces. You can save all kinds of content across Facebook. That's another video for another time. You can, ha you can be notified of it, you can unfollow the event, you can remove you from the guest list, et cetera, et cetera. But what you're looking for is you're wanting to export event. So when you click export events, you have two options. One, you can save to calendar, which if you click export on this, it basically is going to try and save an ICS or iCalendar file onto your computer. This is something that everybody can use, whether you're Mac or PC, it just depends on how you're wanting to import this, right? ICS is basically universal. So you can save this and put it on your local machine, or if you're using Google for Gmail, like I do for basically all of my email, export events, send email to, and then whatever you want the email address to go to. Okay, so this one, the link right here is actually for upcoming events on your calendar, and that would be for all of them. You can do that if you want to, but again, this was just for you to be able to choose one because when you choose the email, which I'm not going, this is a, uh, when you choose the email you want it to go to, it will just automatically send. And then what happens is, is when you go into your calendar, when you go into your calendar, it will show up and it will, sh and I, I don't have that prepped, so um, I'll put that in another video, but it'll show up in your calendar. You just click accept the invite or whatever, and it shows up, boom on your Google Calendar. So thanks so much for watching. Let me go ahead and see if I have any questions so far. Awesome, none. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra, AKA The Prosperous Heart from www.prosperousheart.com. My mission with my digital marketing agency is to make sure that you as an entrepreneur, whether you are a network marketing company, have your own home business, or whatever the case may be, I wanna make sure that you are able to empower yourself to be able to leverage the internet so that you can put yourself in front of all of your ideal customers, right? So if you want to know more about that, go ahead and send me a message or leave a comment down below and we will find out how you can leverage online real estate as it were. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.